Hi, I'm Janice. I'm teaching science here in Clearwater, Florida, and today I'm here to talk to you about how you would calculate the number of molecules in a certain milligram of water. So there's something that we need to understand about chemistry when we make these kinds of conversions, and that is the concept of a mole. Now a mole is a unit of measurement of atoms, and when we're comparing something like molecules to milligrams or to grams, we can't actually make that comparison directly. We always have to go through the mole to get from one measurement of a substance like molecules to something else like grams. Now you'll notice that I have grams written up here and not milligrams. So if I'm looking at a chemistry problem where I'm being asked to calculate the number of molecules, but I'm being given milligrams, there's actually a couple of steps that I have to go through. The first thing that I'm going to have to do is convert from milligrams to grams. So let's say that I have 2,000 milligrams of water. First, I need to figure out how many grams that is. Well, remember, milli means a thousand. So in every gram, there's going to be a thousand milligrams. So what I would have to do is divide this by a thousand. And a thousand divided by 2,000, that's going to give me two. So 2,000 milligrams of water would be two grams of water. Well, now that I know how many grams I have, I'm going to need to know the number of moles, and then I can figure out the number of molecules. Well, when we do a problem like this, that's uh, typically a stoichiometry problem, we have to set up something called a conversion problem, or factor label, or dimensional analysis. People might use different names for the term, but basically it means something that looks like what I'm about to show you. So, we would have to know how many moles we have, and we would get that from uh, the, the chemical equation that we're looking at. And let's just say for the sake of argument that we've got one mole, okay? So we would have to figure out how much water itself weighed, all right? Now, when I calculate the atomic mass of water, I have to know how much hydrogen is and how much oxygen is. Well, hydrogen weighs one gram for a mole. Oxygen weighs 16 grams, but you'll notice that this little subscript here says I actually have two hydrogens, so I'm going to have to multiply that by two. So I'm going to add two plus 16, and that's going to give me 18. So 18 grams is one mole. All right, I'm going to take this information and put it back up here. But in my conversion problem, it's very important that if I have grams of water up here, I put grams of water down in the bottom so that I can do something called canceling out my units. All right, so I have two grams, and I've set up this conversion of the number of moles to the number of grams of water based on water's atomic mass. One more step, because remember, I wanted to know how many molecules I had, not the number of moles. So for that, to know molecules, I have to know about something called Avogadro's number, which is a big old number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. That's the number of molecules that are found in one mole. All right, so remember, mole of water is up here, so I'm going to have to put it down here so I can cancel those out. And I have to put that big old number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, in the top. I'm going to check my units. Those cancel. Those cancel. And I'm going to be left with molecules, which is what I want. Now all I have to do with is the math. So I'm going to multiply 2 times Avogadro's number, and then I'm going to divide by 18. And that's going to give me my number of molecules. And that is how you calculate the number of molecules from a given number of milligrams. I'm Janice. Have a great day.